Welcome to this video where we're going to be talking about ChatGPT plugins and some cool things that I found out that you can do with them today. So we're going to be using, uh, again, we're going to be using the web, uh, what's it called? Web pilot plugin. And basically the prompt that I used was, I want to rank my website to men.it for the keyword Kiton. I already have the page slash collection slash Kiton and blog posts about Kiton. Can you give me some advice to rank further? Maybe some ideas for topical authority, etc. So I'm going to hit enter on this and I'm going to let this load um, and we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, so this generally, this just creates all the normal kind of stuff that you would expect, like keyword optimization, quality content, internal linking, backlinks, snore, snore, snore. Everybody knows this already, although this one is pretty interesting, schema markup, but yeah. What I then did today was I got it to look at the SERP for Google. So what I said was, I'll show you what I said. I said, search Kiton, let's get rid of in America, then find out what is ranking, see if two men is ranking, give me a breakdown of the SERP in terms of SEO. So what this does, which is super interesting, is it actually searches the keyword Kiton, it takes the top eight results or top 10 results, whatever, and it analyzes them and it basically says why they are ranking and you're not. This isn't the best thing that I wanna show you. The, the best thing is gonna be the final thing that I show you in this video. It's very, very interesting, okay? Super, super interesting. Is this real? us.kiton.com slash collection slash man. This is wrong. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't say man personally. I don't think many people would. Should be menswear or something, I guess, but that's interesting. So this is Shopify. Uh, Kiton is actually built on Shopify, which is very interesting. So what it did was based on the search results for Kiton, and this is using WebPilot, here's a breakdown of the search engine result page from an SEO perspective. So it has the official website, e-commerce websites following the official website, uh, Neymon Marcus, who are a big competitor of ours, Mr. Porter, which is a big competitor and Farfetch. These websites have high domain authority and offer a range of Kiton products. Social media, the Instagram page of Kiton also appears in these search results. And something that I've been saying for quite a while now is that we should make YouTube videos for iSuits. I think my boss is finally coming around to that idea. So I think we're gonna be making some YouTube videos for iSuit, which will be really interesting to see if we can take the front page. Again, this is just pretty base level information that you can get searching yourself. I'm showing you all of the steps to get to this point. Wikipedia, the Wikipedia page, images, and people also ask. There's a people also ask session with questions related to Kiton. This section can provide insights into what information people are looking for when they search for Kiton. Unfortunately, your website, twomen.it, does not appear in the result, search results for Kiton. This suggests that there's room for improvement in terms of SEO. So the real reason that I'm making this video and the real thing that I want to show you is this right here. The final prompt, was I need some more ideas for pages. Currently we have products, collections, blogs, glossary pages. Can you help me think of more types of pages to have on the website to build topical authority? Now, I don't know if this used the plugin or if this uses the plugin, but it doesn't really need to because it's already used the plugin to get all of this information anyway. So let's have a look. Absolutely, building topical authority requires a comprehensive approach that goes beyond the traditional product collection and blog pages. Here are some additional types of pages you could consider adding to your website. Resource pages. These are pages that provide valuable information related to your industry or products. For example, you could create a resource page about the history of Kiton, the process of making Kiton products, or the different types of Kiton products and their uses. So this here, the process of making Kiton products, this is so, this is such a good idea because Kiton especially are incredibly proud of their, for example, it, I think it's like 32 handmade steps for every Kiton shirt. If we include that information on the website, it may seem like a small thing, but it might help us rank for Kiton shirt. It might help our collection page rank for Kiton. All of this stuff affects topical authority. And it's like a tiny little flag that you're waving to Google saying, look at me, I'm creating good, helpful content please rank me on Google. So this was very, very interesting to me. And this might not seem like it's using the um, the internet, but you can see that it is using the internet, okay? This one is not using the internet right here. This is just basic information. But 
I kind of had to run, I tried to do this without doing this entire process of these two prompts first. It didn't work. So it works better if you uh, access the internet with the second prompt and then with the third prompt, it already has the knowledge to give you what you need, okay? So I'm hoping, I don't know for a fact because I can't see this because I've only done it with two men. I'm hoping this will be different for everyone. But even if it's not different for everyone, a lot of these will be good for everybody. So the second one, FAQ pages, is pretty normal. Um, we don't have FAQ pages, but we definitely should do, especially for popular products like Giton. Testimonial review pages. This is something we definitely need. I would love to get some video reviews of people of our customers talking about their kit on suits, whatever it might be. This will help build trust and credibility, both in the eyes of Google, raising rankings, and also it will raise our conversion percentage, which is extremely low right now. Case studies, I don't know how this would work. If you have notable success stories or unique applications of your products, consider creating case studies. That's a little bit difficult because case studies doesn't really make too much sense in this case, but maybe we could do that. Comparison pages, again, doesn't make sense. You can't really compare Kiton with many other brands. How-to guides would be very good, but that's basically blog posts. Video content pages, this is something we really, really need to make. I would love to make, uh, I think right now, or I know, not think, I know, that right now the best way to rank first on Google is to have a YouTube video and a blog post on the same topic and link them together by talking about the blog post in the YouTube video and embedding the YouTube video in the blog post. Someone had a go at me for my Twitter the other day. Okay, I don't, I don't control who comes up on Twitter. I don't follow any of those people. I don't know why certain people come up. I'm sorry if you're offended by anyone that just popped up on my screen there. It's so stupid. I might just delete Twitter, honestly. Community pages. These could be forums or discussion boards where your customers can interact, ask questions, and share experiences. This can help build a sense of community and engagement around your brand. This would be amazing, but I just, I can't really see how we would do that. News and update pages. This would be good as well. And then event pages. However, when I did this earlier, so this was actually different. I did this earlier and it came up with interviews. And this actually inspired me to go straight to my boss and ask whether we could interview the CEO of Kitom. He said he would get back to me, but he said it would probably be possible. That would get us so many backlinks and so much like exposure across the internet if we did an interview with the CEO of Kitom. That would be amazing. That's what I'm hoping for. And it was actually ChatGPT that gave me the idea. So fair play to ChatGPT. This is also a reason why I like to run the same prompt a few times because you do get different answers sometimes. So yeah, I just wanted to show you this. I thought this was incredibly helpful for exploring your own website and thinking about potential ways to help to grow it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.